Alt Keyboard 2 is the highly anticipated follow-up release to the original Alt Keyboard, which was a very big hit in the jailbreak community. It was a hit because it allowed you to insert alternate characters just using a swipe up gesture like that. So you could just flick up on the keyboard key and insert an alternate character. So for instance, you could flip up on the Q, W, and E keys to insert a one, two, or three key, just like that. And of course, that's not where it ended. You could swipe up on any other character, even alternate characters like the number characters you can swipe up on to insert special characters like that. So Alt Keyboard 2 is very useful, just like the original Alt Keyboard was useful, but it has even more features. You see here, if you swipe down, you can insert capitalized versions of the letters just like that. And Alt Keyboard 2 introduces another new feature called Auxiliary Alt. So basically what you can do is you can swipe up on special keys like the space key, for instance, and perform even more functions. So I can select, select all or paste directly from the space key by swiping up. And if I swipe up on the shift key while a word is highlighted, I can get the definition of that word. And that's not where it ends, folks. There's even more functionality with Alt Keyboard 2. You can also dismiss autocorrect using a swipe up on the return key. So let me show you this right here. Swipe up on the return key and you can go about your business just like that. Now let me show you the cursor seeker here. If you swipe from either the left or right side of the keyboard, you can invoke the cursor seeker, which has this nice little preview, this keyboard preview, that makes it easy to select the specific text that you're looking to select or to position the cursor in the specific place that you're looking to position the cursor. Uh, so this, again, makes Alt Keyboard 2 much more functional than the original version. And what I really like about the cursor seeker is that it can be combined with the select all functions or select functions so you can actually highlight text as well as move that cursor over just like that. So if you combine those two, you can really have some powerful functionality. And there's one of the other auxiliary alts, the swipe up on the delete key will actually allow you to do an undo or execute an undo action just like that. Now, the nice thing about Alt Keyboard 2 is that it has tons of different options for you to customize the experience to your liking. You can change the flick up action, so you can change it to insert an alternate character, input, input a capital character, and vice versa. You can have lowercase characters to um, display on the actual keyboard keys when you're not in shift mode. You have some granular options for the select bar that you can customize to your liking. And last but not least, you can alter the cursor seeker. You can actually turn the preview for the cursor seeker off, which I kind of like because it allows you to have like swipe selection-esque uh, functionality. If you've ever used swipe selection, you know what I mean. You can swipe on the keyboard keys and move your cursor to an exact location. So I like to keep the preview off in that instance. Um, but Alt Keyboard 2 is a very awesome jailbreak tweak. I highly recommend you download this if you don't already own it. Go out and get it because it's one of the best jailbreak tweaks that you can buy. And it now is compatible with iOS 7. James Long did an excellent job with this go round of Alt Keyboard 2. And of course, Sentry is Sentry. And obviously, his design is impeccable. So, folks, let me know what you guys think about Alt Keyboard 2 down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.